Evaluating your English learning progress. Hello there, English learners. Today, we're diving deep into a crucial aspect of our language learning journey, evaluating progress and identifying areas for improvement. Knowing where you stand and what areas you need to focus on can make a significant difference in your learning experience. Let's jump in. Evaluating your progress isn't just about ticking off boxes or giving yourself a pat on the back. It's about understanding where you currently are in your language learning journey, recognizing the strengths you have developed, identifying the weaknesses that need more attention, adjusting your study plan and strategies to be more effective. In short, by constantly evaluating, you're making sure you're on the right track and getting the most out of your study time. There are several ways you can assess your progress. 1. Self-assessment tests. These are quizzes or tests you can take to gauge your current level. Remember, it's not about the score, but understanding which areas you struggled with. 2. Journaling. Keeping a daily or weekly journal in English can help you see how much you've progressed over time. 3. Recording yourself. Listen to your pronunciation, fluency, and use of vocabulary. Compare recordings from different times to notice improvement. 4. Feedback. Asking for feedback from teachers, peers, or native speakers can provide invaluable insights. Once you've evaluated your progress, the next step is to understand what areas need more attention. Here's how. 1. List down your weaknesses. From your evaluations, pinpoint areas where you consistently struggle. Is it vocabulary, grammar, pronunciation, or something else? 2. Analyze the reason. Sometimes, the reason could be not spending enough time, using ineffective study methods, or not having the right resources. 3. Set specific goals. Instead of a vague, I want to improve my vocabulary, Aim for, I want to learn 10 new words every day. Your evaluations and insights are of no use if you don't adjust your strategies based on them. 1. Change your methods. If one method isn't working, try something new. For instance, if reading books is becoming tedious, switch to watching English movies or shows. 2. Allocate more time. If certain areas need more work, dedicate extra study time to them. 3. Seek help. Join English learning groups, hire a tutor, or use language exchange platforms to work on specific weaknesses. And there we have it. By regularly evaluating your progress and identifying areas for improvement, you set yourself up for a more targeted and effective English learning journey. Remember, it's all about growth and understanding yourself as a learner. Here's to constant improvement and achieving your English learning goals. Happy studying!